Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Dylan, you guys are chilling with Dylan, and today I am going to be bringing you yet another unboxing video. Alright guys, so what is going on? Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments section below. Let me know your latest pickups what you guys are anticipating, and make sure you guys check out my shorts over on the channel as well. If you do like this video going forward, just make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you are new around here, and let's get right into it. So alrighty guys, from the intro, you guys already know what shoe we are going to be talking about today. There's going to be the Air Jordan 3 Wizards PE. That's right. So yes, these things were actually pretty widely available. They're actually still available on some sites. You could actually go snag, depending on your size. I know that the bigger sizes did generally sell out mostly on uh, most websites, but you could theoretically go snag a pair as we speak. Now, these things are actually a player exclusive modeled after when Jordan did play with the Wizards. Now, Box reads, Air Jordan 3 Retro White Metallic Copper. It's not going to say on the box, but it is also has that true blue as well. You can see the label right there. And the box, you know, what Jordan's been doing generally with the, uh, the Jordan 3s. You got that, like, panel over here with that solid color that has uh, the majority of what the shoe is going to be. Also right here, you got the Jumpman in that hit of copper. It's going to be accenting this shoe. Then you got the elephant print over here. Now, opening up the box, three, two, one, you got the elephant print paper inside the box, and there are the shoes. All right, so here we got uh, the shoes, right? So these things are going to be the Air Jordan 3 Wizards, right? So um, like I said, Michael Jordan did actually, I'll throw up an image right here on the screen, uh, but Michael Jordan did play with the Wizards. For those of you who did not know, yes, he did not just play for the Bulls. He did also play a short stint with the Wizards. Um, and this shoe right here is actually a very identical replica to what he actually wore. The back tab is going to have that Jumpman Air. I believe the pair that he wore actually had the Nike Air on the back, which personally I would have loved to see. However, it's a really, really, really clean colorway. Um, obviously, we also had the True Blues um, that had, you know, is like a, an original colorway in the Jordan 3 lineup. Um, that is a true classic. I personally do not have the True Blues, so knowing that these things were going to be releasing and coming out, I was like, you know what, I gotta grab myself a pair because I don't have the True Blues in my collection, and honestly, we don't know when those things are going to be released anytime soon, so had to grab these things up because it's probably honestly the closest thing we're going to get for a while to those True Blues. So let's just get started over on the sneaker um, right here, obviously you got that blue Jumpman Air over in that true blue colorway. Going around to this side, obviously, the midsole right here is going to be all in that true blue. Uh, it's honestly a really, really nice blue. It's a little bit lighter shade than that true blue, which is a little bit darker, but it is almost an identical replica to what the true blues um, color blue is going to be. Um, over, you know, the leather quality actually on these shoes. So I'm going to pull the uh, paper stuffing out just a tad so I can show you guys how soft the leather is. So you can clearly tell there is a really good amount of tumble on the leather. And also right here, like, look, if you're pushing down, it's really, really soft leather. Now you're going to get this same leather up here on the upper. Now on the Mud guard right here, you're gonna get this smooth leather, so that smooth white leather right here. Then going to the front, you're gonna have that classic elephant print. Now the elephant print in this shoe is gonna be a little bit lighter, honestly. So the so I will show you real quick that my pairs I did get hit with the you know elephant print lottery, is uh you know what you could really call it. Uh, because not all pairs are going to be identical, right? So I got a really clean pair as far as the tumbleness. They look almost identical. However, the elephant print is a little bit lighter over on, or lighter over on the right shoe right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up. A little bit lighter also on the heel as well. It is going to be just a slight bit lighter. As well, going up to the eye stays 
Um, actually, what's weird is this has thicker elephant print down here at the toe and on the heel. However, up towards the eye stay, you get a really thin elephant print. Whereas the right shoe, you're going to get the darker elephant print right there. Now, personally, it doesn't really bother me a whole lot, right? So I'm going to wear these things, right? Like I said, I don't have the true blue, so this is going to be the closest thing for me personally. I actually really love this colorway. Um, and you know what? To me, honestly, having that unique character of the different elephant print, it doesn't even really bother me. I actually prefer the way that this looks, to be honest. So just a quick comparison, though, for that elephant print. I'm going to bring over the white cement reimagines right here so my pair of white cements is a pretty really good pair as far as the qc so i got you know pretty much same elephant print on the left shoe as the right shoe but you can tell here very similar going around the back right here it's also very similar to the heel as that you know more og true to form style of elephant print that these went with transferred over very nicely for the wizards as well now, obviously, the other pair of threes I got right here is going to be the uh, Fire Red threes. This elephant print is going to be way different. It's a really dark elephant print compared to that of the White Cements and also the Wizards. So, that's just a little quick comparison. Now, also doing a little quick comparison between the three of these shoes as well. This shoe right here, the Fire Reds, is going to have... so. Here's another thing. So I got a size 12 in the Fire Reds and they fit me perfectly, right? The White Cement Reimagined fit big. I'm normally a size 12 in all Jordan 3s. However, the White Cements fit big since they don't have a lot of padding on the inside. So I sized down and went with 11 and a half and they fit perfect. Now, when I went with the uh, selection, because I got these from Foot Locker, right? So when I entered in all my raffles, I went with an 11 and a half thinking it's very similar to that of the white cements. It is more of a thin collar, right? So you do have more of a thin collar. However, it's not as thin as the white cements. And it's a little bit more padded than the white cements. However, it's not as thick as the fire reds. So just something to note when you're going with your size. I mean, I think you're going to be fine whatever you're going to end up with going um, if you are normally get all of your Jordan 3s in a size 12, stick with your size 12. If you're normally an 11 and a half, go with the 11 and a half. Um, I think you would be fine maybe if you had to go up a half a size if you have a really wide foot. But generally, I would just stick to what you normally get in your Jordan 3s and the Wizards are going to fit just fine. So other than that, you know, you got your elephant print that we went over and then you're also going to have your copper hits over on the lace holes right here. Also, going up to the tongue, you're going to get the copper hit right there with the jump man. And then, obviously, over on the outsole, which I think looks beautiful, you're going to get the Jordan in the copper as well as the forefoot right there in copper as well. I think that looks, honestly, super, super clean. And uh, like I said, I'm a huge fan of this colorway, personally. Um, and also, just one more thing to note while I'm looking at it, inside the little sock liner right here, is not like a uh, fabric or like cotton material, kind of like the fire reds and also the white cements. You can sell, you can tell it's like more of that fabric material, that cottony feel. This is more of a satin sock liner, so it's gonna feel really good while you're wearing them. But also just to note, um, it doesn't have as much padding. So, like I said, it's gonna fit you a little bit uh, bigger and looser around the ankle. But I really do like how it's got like that little satin sock liner. And other than that, guys, I think we pretty much nailed all the key points about this shoe right here. Um, I'm actually super, super glad that these things were pretty widely available. So I was able to snag my pair. I actually ended up getting two, two pairs because I hit on Foot Locker, picked up my pair from the mall. And then also I was actually hit on a feature. Uh, raffle which I generally don't hit on feature for anything so I entered in for these and I was actually able to hit so I got my double up one to wear one to beat up and then also one to um, you know put on ice for another day all right guys so yeah other than that let me know if you guys were able to cop your pair of the Air Jordan 3 Wizards down below if you did go for these things like I said um you know it's gonna be tough right because the white cement reimagines 
are obviously the best Jordan 3. And it's probably going to be, honestly, top five, top three on most people's lists for the entire year. I mean, it's just a really great execution, especially with the reimagine with the sale hits, right? However, if I'm being honest with you, man, these are right up there with it. I mean, this is such a clean, classic pair of shoes, especially if you like that true blue um, color blocking. This is a no-brainer, and I'm super happy that they're kind of slept on. More widely available for those who really do want the sneakers. And like I said, hopefully you were able to grab your pairs, however many you wanted. And let me know if you did down below. And other than that, guys, my name is Dylan. If you did enjoy, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the post notification bells, check out all my YouTube shorts. I post a ton of YouTube shorts throughout the week, multiple per day. Um, so make sure you guys are tuning into those. And, you know, from here on out, I am going to be posting a lot more actual videos. Um, I also do, we are nearing 600 subscribers. So I really do want to thank you guys for all of your support. It really does mean a lot to me and I truly do appreciate it. We are on that grind to a thousand subs and uh, hopefully you guys are going to be on the journey with me. Um, going to the moon, baby. So uh, like I said, stay tuned, thumbs up the video, do all that good stuff. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And that's going to do it for me, guys. My name is Dylan. You guys just chill with Dylan and I'm out. Peace.